Advent Noon Reflections, December 3rd, Isaac. Scripture readings, Genesis 22nd, 8 through 13. The Advent One Collect. Almighty God, give us grace so to cast away the works of darkness and put on the armor of light now in this time of this mortal life, in which you, your Son, Jesus Christ, came to visit us in great humility, that in the last day, when he shall come again in his glorious majesty to judge both the living and the dead, we may rise to the life immortal through him who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Our memory verse is, Behold the Lamb of God, who taketh away the sin of the world. John 1, 29b. Our scripture reading. Sometime later, God tested Abraham he called to him and said, Abraham. And Abraham answered, yes, here I am. Take your son, said God, your only son Isaac, whom you love so much, and go to the land of Moriah, and there on a mountain I will show you, offer him as a sacrifice to me. So early the next morning, Abraham cut some wood for the sacrifice and loaded his donkey and took Isaac and two servants with him. They started out for the place that God had told him about. And on the third day, Abraham saw that place in the distance. Then he said to the servants, you stay here with the donkey. The boy and I will go over there and worship, and then we will come back to you. Abraham made Isaac carry the wood for the sacrifice. And he himself carried a knife and live coals for starting a fire. And as they walked along, Isaac said, Father? And he answered, Yes, my son. Isaac asked, I see that you have the coals and the wood. But where is the lamb for the sacrifice? And Abraham answered, God himself will provide one. When they came to the place which God had told him about, Abraham built an altar and arranged the wood on it, and then he tied up his son and placed him on the altar on top of the wood. Then he picked up the knife to kill him, but the angel of the Lord called to him from heaven, Abraham, Abraham. And he answered, yes, here I am. Don't hurt the boy or do anything to him. Now that I know you honor and obey God because you have not kept back your only son from him. And Abraham looked around and saw a ram caught in a bush by its horns and he went and got it and offered it as a burnt offering instead of his son. Knowing the will of God is one thing, but doing it is another. The call from God to kill Isaac was the greatest test of Abraham's mature faith. Because of Abraham's trust, in the character of God, our own God, Yahweh. He was able to provide a foreshadowing of the sacrifice of Christ on the cross, another beloved son. Abraham was preparing for what Christ would do one day for them, willingly. The ram that was caught in the thicket the substitute for Isaac is a symbol of our Savior Jesus. 
it's interesting to note that the place where Abraham was to sacrifice Isaac, Mount Moriah, was exactly in Jerusalem where Solomon built his temple. And here, when Christ was the sacrifice for atonement, the veil of the temple was also torn and symbolized the end of the sacrificial system. We pray. Give us strength, Lord, and faith to follow in the way that you lead, to trust in you even when it seems impossible, to give our lives and ourselves to you knowing that you are guiding us in the right way to peace and freedom and holiness. Help us to appreciate that Jesus was the ram, the lamb, who didn't get away, and to understand how we can willingly lay ourselves and our lives down in your hands and in your heart. Amen. As you wonder about this passage in Scripture, Think of your own response to being asked to sacrifice in a way that doesn't make sense to you.